Hey everybody and welcome to this episode on the iPhone 5S iOS 9 official update release video. iPhone 5S was available starting in late 2013 so essentially this phone was a 2014 model as Apple likes to release its phones later in the year. It marked new beginnings for the tech industry with the first 64-bit chip in a smartphone and fingerprint scanner on a smartphone as well which would eventually push the tech industry forward. With mainstream users like you and I, we can uh, easily go into our phone with fingerprint scanner as well as business customers and enterprise consumers. iPhone 5S was released with iOS 7 and this has been updated several times to minor fixes and major bug updates such as iOS update which many people didn't have much nice to say about until the kinks were worked out in several updates. The final iOS 8 update was released as iOS 8.4.1 and now Apple has unleashed and unveiled iOS 9 for our Apple iPhone 5S and we get to take a look at that in this video right now. So let's dive into this video. Let's go. Diving into this video guys, you're going to notice that the iOS 9 update for your iPhone 5S is only one gigabyte at max. And that is a nice decrease in space so you can get more space on your iPhone 5S. And this applies to all the iPhone updates, so if you're watching this you don't have an iPhone 5S, it applies to all of them. So going on to this boot up test, I was actually quite shocked on how quickly the iPhone 5S booted up in this scenario. In my case, it came in at right around 21 seconds to boot, and that's pretty good if you ask me. So the next thing I want to talk about is the font. This is generally what they changed. Uh, one of the things they changed is the font on iOS 9. So you're going to notice if you get up close on your iPhone and you look around, you're going to notice that we have a new San Francisco font, which just gives it a more clean and modern looking look on your iPhone 5S. So that's one thing added in iOS 9 that you might come to appreciate. Now, one of the main features that iOS 9 includes is the Notes app. Now, I know Notes have been doing this forever, Galaxy Notes, other phones, LG phones, but finally Apple has included their own intake on uh, drawing notes with your finger in the app. And I like this ruler feature, it's kind of neat, you can kind of get straight lines, which I haven't seen in other phones, maybe there's apps for this, but I haven't seen this, and it's pretty cool in my opinion. You might not like it, let me know what you think in the comments about that ruler feature down below. Uh, also, in iOS 9, they included the inclusion of brand new wallpapers, which iOS does pretty much every time there's a new release. Apple does this. iOS always has new wallpapers. So you might come to enjoy the few, but they also eliminated a few, such as the Earth Globe, which a lot of people actually really enjoyed on their iPhone. So you might not like that they admitted that. Also, Siri has gotten a redesign. Um, it's not too much different, just a little bit modern. They probably added more features to uh, speaking to Siri and more contextual things. But overall, Siri is pretty much the same, just has a newer look within the app, which is pretty nice welcome change. Now going on to the camera, the camera still fires up quick and still takes photos blazingly fast. As I'm showing you this as an example, you can see on the 64 bits still shines on the iPhone 5S, so you're not going to have no problems taking photos. Also on iOS 9, they included the news app, which is basically like Flipboard or the other apps that you've seen from Samsung with the news aggregators on HTC Blink Fleet, things like that. So that's also welcome here. Also, they included transit directions. This has also been available on Google Maps, so it's not nothing really new to see, but it's here now. Battery saving mode, low power basically, is just going to bring a nice battery saving. You're going to see the font has changed to show a lower power indicator. This final section of the video, guys, we are going to get into the app multitasking switch test. And as you can see, the apps are flying right on open. Now, I want to mention that iOS 9 is slightly slower than iOS 8, but it's still a blazing fast operating system by comparison to much other phones on the market. And even the 4S kind of got slower on iOS 9. So anyways, as you're seeing, we are flying right on through these apps, no problems whatsoever. If you see a little hiccup, that's because my touch wasn't hitting it. It's kind of hard to do this behind camera and be totally accurate. So overall, it's still a blazing pass performer. And you see I go flying through, everything is flying right on open. Now I'm going to show you the camera opening speed from the lock screen. Once again, I kind of like hit it the wrong way or something, but that's not really a lag, that's just me not doing it the right way. So open up the camera was pretty quick indeed. So overall, you're gonna expect a pretty solid performer, even on games, as you can see in Temple Run, it flew right on open. I know this is not a taxing game, but it's still a good example just to show you that it can handle pretty much anything you throw at this device on that 64-bit A7 
chip by Apple. So it's still a good phone overall. Going on to my final thing I want to mention is they did change the app switcher, which actually I think looks pretty much way better and more modern than it did before. Now let me know what you guys think about this feature down below in the comments. Does it look better to you or does it not? Let me know. It looks more like Android or what? So anyways, that's pretty much a full little short snippet review of iOS 9 on the iPhone 5S. I tried to show you this in a basic, simple, easy to understand video so you guys can decide if you want to update to iOS 9. And if you do, go ahead and hit that thumbs up down below and share with your friends and subscribe for more. Peace.